Another terrific day in Arkansas for the month of December. I don't know. I don't know how this is happening, but we have been very fortunate. It's like it's going to be in the 60s today, and uh, which will give me a chance to get back out and do a little more painting. It's hard to paint when the temperature's 30, 30, 40 degrees. Uh, but before we get started, we have some business to take care of. We are in the Salvation Army store parking lot, and there is the Salvation Army store. Let's go see if Gerald is in there. Well, here we are in the Salvation Army store, and everybody say hi to Gerald. Say hi, Gerald. Well, well, how come you're not ringing this year? Just kind of arthritic and all? Uh, I'm the truck driver here, and I'm back there in the warehouse. And but you're it's not, been so busy this year. You, they just don't have time to let you go, do they? That's right. Hey, uh, by the way, didn't you get an award here recently? I saw you in the newspaper. Something to do with, was it Vietnam service or something in the war or something? Uh, Army service or something? What yeah, was it? Vietnam vet, but uh, it was honoring a, a POW that they shipped back. And so we stood out there with our flag, American flags. Oh, is that what it was? I, well, I thought you got some kind of an award or something, no. too, from VFW or something. I, I, I got a, a quilt. A quilt? From the... Uh, from Marlton up there. Well, that was good of you. I saw your picture and I said, I know that guy. I know that guy every year. I give that guy money. <laughs> well, let's get on over here right. and put some money in the old... Now, this ain't your, your normal ringing bell and all that, but this is the money where you put your donations, yeah. right? Well, what do you say we do it to it, huh? Okay, I love this part. Every year people say, you know, well, where's Gerald? <laughs> Stick a five in there. You think that'll help a little? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it will too. Come on over here, lady. We're going to get you in this one too. <laughs> I, I have a YouTube channel and every year. Gerald's on it at this Christmas time because we donate money together, don't we, Gerald? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we do. Put another five in there for you, okay? Oh, <laughs> right. I'll tell you what. Right let's let's there. throw a little bit of money. Let's throw some more money in there. Man, we got money here. We're gonna... yeah, you got to put some in. Oh, that's all right. I give money no, to others. Okay, to. I'll put some in. My you gosh, I'll tell you, you what. To. <laughs> all right, all right. That, that make you feel better? Okay. <laughs> okay, how about how about another? I'll tell you what. Here's, here's you throw another five. I know who that is. That's my friend over there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's giving away them doggies, ain't he? <laughs> he's a little cutie. Oh, I love little dogs. Just love them. Hey, here, here, here's for the whole staff, okay? Here, you guys do such a good job. Is that cool? Thank you, so much. you put it in together, okay? Okay. Both now, both of you got to do it together. Okay, there okay. we go. Stick that in there. I'm going to say Merry Christmas to okay. everybody. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Thank okay, you. now the reason I do this every year is because people send me things yes. and unsolicited. They'll send me a gift, they'll send me this and that. And this is how I basically pay them back. So, all of this money that I give every year is donated in the names of the YouTube subscribers that send me stuff. I have a very good account with a very good bunch of people, okay? So Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. What's your name, hon? My name is Keely. Keely! Yes. Well, I'm John. Nice this one. to meet you, John. And then Gerald. And you know Mary. me. I know Gerald, <laughs> yes, <years>. I know. <laughs> For years, that's For right. Years. Okay, who, who, who we got here? Okay, this is Tater Tot. Tater Tot. <laughs> this is Trooper. <laughs> I and did. I am the Reverend Lewis Skip Smith. The Reverend Lewis Skip Smith. Yes, well, what you doing carrying around these two little well, fellers? Well, these are my That's his cohorts part. and my witnessing. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> You're out doing witnessing with the little doggies, huh? Uh, they got oh, the love of Jesus in them. Oh, I'm telling you, they're sweethearts. You know? I, we, have, we have three little dogs. They're not as small as these, but uh, these are full-grown, too, right? Yeah, she, she is full-grown. What, grown. what are they? They're after the miniature chihuahuas. Miniature chihuahuas. Uh, we, got, we got a full-grown uh, chihuahua. She's, she's a year and a half, and he's 17 weeks. Well, Merry Christmas, Rev. Merry Christmas yeah, to you. I'm brother. glad you brought those two in here. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> and, uh, well, as you can tell, and, and, and to all a good and to all a good night, right? <laughs> it was right. nice meeting yeah. you. Nice meeting Thank you. you. Bye bye. Thank you so God bless. By now, I kind of hoped I'd have this radio, this Zenith 7S633, repaired and operational. No, it's not happening. Not happening at all. Now, normally it would frustrate someone. It doesn't frustrate me at all. It's just fun and games. But I think I've got it narrowed down. I've been working on it, working on it, a little bit here, a little bit there, in between the T-Bird. I was kind of hoping to hand it over at Christmas time, but that's just, that's just not going to happen. But we're going to get it. We will fix it. 
I've got all the brackets out of the vinegar and as you can see there's no rust on them at all except for what's been forming uh, after I washed them down and put them in the oven and dried them off but all the major rust is gone just surface rust and I've got to get this primer on as quickly as I can to keep any more from forming so they, they're looking really good look at that boy they're just going to be nice when we get the black paint on them well, that's about it we're all done they look pretty good. I, I really showered down again with a lot of black paint this time. Both uh, underneath, you can see how smooth it used to be in the center. And there you can really get a good shot of how deep that rust was on along the lips there. One spot it was really super deep. This is where it is over on this end. Boy, it was really down in there. Really down in there. I get some light. Yep. Anyway, we got rid of it all. We're good. Uh, I think the next things we need to do is are the uh, shackles. I mean, they get the shackles out, get to, you know, make sure they're all rust free, and get them out here and do the same thing. The whole intent here is to get everything done, uh, cleaned, uh, de rusted, cleaned, and painted, so when I finally get those leaf springs, I can just throw it together. Everything will be done, ready to go. But right now, I've got to go in and uh, give our little three doggies a bath. It's time, it's coming up. Christmas in a couple days. I want them to smell good when my son and them can show up. And uh, speaking of doggies, now check this out. Wifey's sitting there eating a nice hamburger I gave her, and there's Dee Dee. He's saying, I want some. Buddy's saying, Give me some too. And Rocky's on the floor saying, Where's mine? I think you got some friends, don't you, honey? More than one. More than one. <laughs> Oh, that is funny. Everybody say hi. Dee Dee, how you doing, sweetheart? She's doing real well. See my baby. And buddy, easy my baby, you your sweetheart. And where's, where's Rocky? Rocky. Rocky's more interested in the food. Rocky. Rocky. He says, leave me alone. I want some of Mama's food. <laughs> Christmas is over, it's over, and I am back into my proverbial, my buddy, the shop. My proverbial buddy, the shop. And uh, the first thing I've decided to do is get all the parts that are still soaking in vinegar out of here. Get them out, get them, or get them wire brushed off, clean off the rust, take them inside and wash them and dry them, bring them out, put some primer on them. I want this thing emptied. It might be time to change vinegar, but I don't think so because there's two other things I want to take off the car and stick down in there and let them soak for a few days. We're looking good in this department. I've got all the rust off, every bit of it. And then I know I, I, I painted it all with primer. I had to, I had no choice. Even down around the thread area, I had to put light primer in there because it's, it, these parts started rusting almost immediately after I got them dried out. You know, I just they just, no matter what I did, I couldn't stop the rust. Even on these uh, shackles, it just began to build up within an hour, within 30 minutes. So I brought them out here real quick and I slapped some primer on them. And uh, even on the uh, threads, as you can see here, and then I hit them with the, uh, the black paint after the primer dried. Tried to stay away from the threads as much as I can. You know, it's not a showstopper. You know, a little bit of paint on the threads, big deal. As long as you don't fill up the threads with it, you're okay. Just got to kind of keep it from rusting if possible. Anyway... You know, what I had was a, a bunch of pitting on these shackles here and a lot of rust on them. And uh, Brendan's, you know, he got all, he, he, I don't know if you should use those shackles again, you know. They got a lot of pitting and everything. I said, hey, 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 you know, you don't know from rust. I said, you know what, just clean them up, sand them down a little bit. They'll work fine. Use a little silicone. Uh, when I put them in the bushings back on the car, they'll work great. No need to buy new ones. Now, of course, if you talk to him, you'll get a story completely the opposite. We are back underneath the rear of the car, and these, this is the uh, rear hanger for those leaf springs. That, there's one on each side with a bushing, and this is where the shackles go. And I'm going to have to take these down. As you can see, they're really a mangy, rusty mess, too. So this is just a three-bolt affair. Let me get down here where we can see a little better. We've got... Uh, let me see, we got a couple of bolts right there and right there, and then there's a third bolt over here. So once I, they should come out. They're not too rusty, 
but I've got to get them down and I've got to get them in that vinegar. And this is going to be a long term, <laughs> I think. I don't know, this is going to be a long term soak, I think. I hope these bushings pop out fairly easy too. Uh, that'll be tomorrow's job. Right now I'm going to give it up for the night. Well, it's the next day and it's another beautiful day in Arkansas. 65 degrees, I guess, or something like that. I'll tell you though, even though the weather's great and it's been raining all night, but I'm, you know, I'm just, I, I have a case of the lazies today. <laughs> this is terrible. And I've got to get under there and take those hangers off. You know, when you, when you have a case of the lazies, that's when you got to force yourself to get moving. Don't sit around with a case of the lazies. And that's the worst thing you can do. All right, let me see what I can do. I'm going to have to move these jack stands and they're only there as a kind of a safety measure, but I got them on the bottom of those hangers. And uh, we'll go ahead and put these nice uh, cast iron ones underneath there yeah, as another safety measure with a couple of boards on top. We'll get it nice and secure so when I start yanking and pulling on those bolts down there, I don't bring the car down on top of me. Well, here they are, both of them. All the bolts, by the way, were 9 sixteenths. And, uh, man, this thing is... Really, really rough looking down in there. Heavily pitted. Fortunately, it's heavy steel. Looks like it was made out of the same thing the springs are made out of. Here's the other one. Gonna have to have new bushings, of course. But, you know, that's the fun of it. I'm enjoying it like you wouldn't believe. This is fun, fun stuff. I'll give us a quick wire brush, uh, wire brushing, and see if I can get some. These, uh, these bushings will roll back a little bit for me. So maybe I can get one uh, side off and punch the other through before I put it in the vinegar. And, you know, what the heck. We're under the car one more time. And we did put those plugs in the trunk the other day, for those of you who watched the video. Might as well go ahead and uh, give them an undercoating while we're down here. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting old. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be like old 64 goat. All right. I've got the, I'm just using regular old uh, Rust-Oleum uh, undercoating, not a big heavy thick coat, there's no rust under here as you can see, it's important not to, uh, it's not a good idea to put undercoat over the top of rust, all it does is seal the rust in and the rust just keeps eating away, eating away and you don't even know it, so we'll go ahead and spray this a little bit, cover it up like that, and then we'll do the other three and we'll be done. It is uh, participation time for you folks. You see all the holes we have in the trunk? They're not large holes, they're small holes. Probably right back in there is the largest of the, of the bunch. I need to plug those holes and I'm not going to weld them shut. I'm not going to get down there with a welder and do all that crap. There has to be an easier way. What I want is some input from you guys. Uh, Brendan and I have already discussed it. And uh, I want something that will be, you know, fairly permanent. We have our own ideas. We have a couple of ideas of our own. But if someone will come up with a better idea, I'm always open to it. She's about as clean as I'm going to get it just by scraping it and uh, using a wire brush on it. Now, the bushings are out of both of them. And they were two-piece bushings. A while back, I told you in one of the videos that when we get bushings, they'll come in. They'll probably be two pieces just like this. There's writing on the end, so you know, this is one flat side, they go in from each side. One goes in from this side, and the other one goes in from the other side, and they just sort of butt up against each other in the middle of the uh, hole. So, I got them out by, you know, they're pretty soft. These were pretty soft. They weren't, they weren't all that hard. They were hardened up a little bit, not that much. And I was able to just keep digging down in the hole with a screwdriver and popping the sides loose and break, it broke off in little pieces until finally she rolled over and I was able to pluck it out on both sides. Uh, okay, what we're going to do now is throw it in the old vinegar. First, we're going to put all the bolts in. These bolts, man. Uh, these bolts are salvageable, but the lock washers aren't. Incidentally, uh, all the lock washers on all the bolts that I've taken out so far have been thrown away. And I got all new today, large ones all the way down to smaller ones, to include the ones on the U-bolts for the universal joints. I got brand new lock washers. And uh, these have all been thrown away, these 9 sixteenths uh, bolt washers. We're going to go ahead and throw that in there. And then we'll go ahead and just chunk this stuff down in there. 
let it soak. We'll probably have to scrape that a little really good or take it off with a wire brush. That looks like a little bit of paint or rubber or stuff there. I don't know. We'll wait. We'll worry about it because this is going to be a long soak. And that's going to be about the end of the video, folks. I think what we'll do is just call it quits for today. And I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I'll see you after the new year. And I hope you enjoyed the video so far. I wish I could have made it a little longer, but I didn't, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, like I said, I just don't have a whole lot of energy today, and I don't know why. It, I'll have it tomorrow. And uh, by the way, I've been putting together a, uh, a mishmash video for those of you who like to see a mishmash video. Some of the stuff is a little old, but I've been kind of building it up over a period of time. And uh, part of the mishmash video is a story about a member and our family. And I think you're going to enjoy it. So until next time, this is John. I'll tell you about one more thing. Every night about 6.15, the dogs have already been fed and then they all come around here. They seem to have clocks on their little arms, of wrist, really little wrist watches, doggy wrist watches or something, because at 6.15, they're right here. And if you look at my computer, you will see that it is 616. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know how they do it. Anyway, they all come around because they want their little, they want their little uh, beef stick snacky. So let's take a look at. I, I just love Dee Dee when she comes around here. What's Dee Dee want, huh? Now look at that face on here. Now how can Dee Dee? How can you turn your face down like that? What you want? Well, hey, what you want? What you want? Do you want a snaggy? Yeah, oh, they all want their snaggy. Look at that. Look at that face. Oh, okay, we'll give you one. Here's a snaggy for Dee Dee. Yeah, she's again. And here is Buddies. And here is Rockies. You all get about a little, little more than an inch of that. Uh, this beef stick, they love this beef stick.